Live foods are a great way to improve the health and growth rate of your newborn fish. Vinegar eels are an excellent choice because they are a low-maintenance live food that is very easy to raise. They are not actually eels, but a nematode that feeds on the live bacteria and yeast culture used to produce vinegar. The culture medium that I use is 50% apple juice or apple cider mixed with 50% apple cider vinegar. I also add a few chunks of apple to the bottle. Only fill the bottle halfway, leaving a large surface area for the eels to come to the top for air. Be sure to cover the bottle with a mesh-type material such as pantyhose to keep the bugs out while still allowing air to go in. Vinegar eels grow to about 1 16th of an inch in length, or 2 millimeters. Starter cultures can be obtained online or from fellow hobbyists. I use vinegar eels as a transitional live food to go in between very small items such as green water and infusoria and the larger prey items like baby brine shrimp and microworms. Vinegar eels are an aquatic creature. So unlike microworms, these guys will not sink into the substrate and die within a few hours. In fact, they will continue to survive and move throughout the aquarium for up to a week. This gives your baby fish plenty of time to track them down and eat them. Let's take a closer look. It is important to note that your newborn fish cannot survive on vinegar eels alone. So they must be supplemented with microworms or specially formulated fry food, such as First Bites by Hikari. Now we will look at the harvest methods. Many people use a turkey baster or siphon to remove the eels from the upper portion of the vinegar solution where they are most concentrated. The siphoned off portion is then poured through a coffee filter to remove the eels from the vinegar solution. The coffee filter is then rinsed in fresh water to remove the eels. A lot of eels are lost in this process, and it can be quite messy. However, there is a better way. What I have done here is to fill a narrow glass vase halfway with the upper portion of the culture medium where the eels are most concentrated. Filter floss is then inserted into the vase until it fully contacts the culture medium. The remainder of the vase is then carefully filled with dechlorinated water. The water is less dense than the vinegar solution, so it remains at the surface, and the more dense vinegar stays at the bottom of the vase. The vinegar eels need oxygen from the surface, so they swim up through the filter floss and into the fresh water at the top of the vase. Within 24 hours, the upper portion of the vase can then be harvested with a siphon tube or a turkey baster. The water and the eels can then be added directly into the tank. There's no rinsing, no eels are lost, and no worries about adding vinegar into the aquarium. The upper portion of the vase can then be topped off with more dechlorinated water, and depending on the population density of your culture, one or two more harvests can then be made in the next day or two. Keep the culture in a dark, cool location and have more than one on hand in case one of them fails. I check on mine every couple months, and start a new culture every six months or so. As always, thank you for watching. Please remember to hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe to this channel.